guys my name is lennox benny this is my channel lennox benny thank you guys for tuning in please subscribe if you have not done so so today we'll be looking at one of the most challenging question in inverse of a function all right so even though it is a bit challenging once you get it it's fairly easy so guys hit the like button all right if you have done function before Pause the video and try. All right, all right. Let's go. So, the first thing we do, we change the function to y. All right. Why we can do that? It's a graph. So we're gonna say y is equal to all of this. So it's two x plus three divided by four x minus six. All right. The next step we're going to do is to interchange x for y and y for x. So anywhere x is, we put y. And anywhere y is, we put x. Alright. So right here, this would be x equal to y plus 3. Remember, we're changing all the x to y. Alright. So when we're doing that now, what we're going to do, we're going to be solving for y. We're going to make y the subject of the formula. So the first thing we want to do is to get rid of the denominator, right? Which is 4y minus 6. This is dividing, so the opposite would be to multiply by 4y minus 6. So that's going to cancel. Remember, it's an equation. So anything we do for one, we're going to do for all. So then we're going to multiply this 4y minus 6. And we are left with this. So we are left with the numerator, which is 2y plus 3. All right. So remember, in math, the bracket means to multiply. So we're going to expand the bracket. So we're going to multiply now. So it's x times 4y, that would give us 4xy, x times minus 6, that is minus 6x, and again, remember our objective is to get all the y terms together, so we're going to group 2y with 4xy, so let's go, so it's 4xy, this is a positive 2y, so the inverse would minus 2y. So minus 2y. We still have a minus 6x here, and that would be equal to positive 3. Alright, so let's rewrite this. So it's 4xy, we almost finished, minus 2y, minus 6x, and all of that is equal to 3. Alright, so I want to make y the subject. So we need to get rid of this minus 6x by taking the inverse, which is positive 6x. So we're going to add 6x to both sides. See, that come nicely. We have two y terms here now, right? So what we do, we factor out the y. So y is common. We want to get it by itself. We factor out the y. So y, that would leave us with 4x. y into this, minus 2 and that would leave us with 3 plus 6x. And our final step is to get rid of this 4x. Now this is saying y multiplied by 4x minus 2. So what we simply do is to divide. Because the inverse of multiplication is division. What we do to one side, we do to both sides. So there we have it. So to write our answer, we write now f inverse of x is equal to 3 plus 6x divided by 4x minus 2. What are you guys waiting to be a part of my class? Call my number guys. This is Anox Bennett. I'm out. No doubt.